It's really but it's really not. <laughs> What's up, Austin? <laughs> I'm still in frame if I... I'm back here, right? Is this, is this is normal? Okay, when you first heard about the ATX Television Festival, what'd you think? I, I thought, what is that? Did you find out? I found out that it was an Austin festival for television. I forget that I have an email account, and so like there was a whole bunch of correspondence that went back and forth, and then somebody was like, oh, you need to be at the airport tomorrow. And I was like, cool. Cool. <laughs> and were you on the party plane? I can't remember. I was, hashtag. Hashtag party plane. Hashtag party I didn't know plane. it was actually called the party plane, though. It was. I actually, I showed up and I was really angry because they didn't tell, or I didn't read the email where they said, where to get the tickets, so I went to the self-service, and like it was like, you don't have a ticket, you don't have a ticket. I'm like, is this some elaborate hoax to remind <laughs> me how not famous I am? <laughs> like, they've invented some festival and pretended to invite me to it, and, they called and the then I get to the airport, and it's all bull <laughs> They gave me a ticket, um, and uh, I arrived on the plane, and I was offered a lot of peanuts, and uh, there was some singing. I and heard a couple there of was some singing. The civilian music. passengers were not thrilled about that. Oh yeah? Um, yeah, because nothing says party plane like an 8 a.m. flight. So that's how you found yourself in yeah, Austin. Yeah, Austin's this a great town. It's a great town. I already feel the vibe, and you yeah, already dig man, it. Yeah, man, that vibe is feeling that up. That vibe me like crazy. is feeling. You went to I White was Horse. I that vibe. Yeah, um, yeah, I went to White Horse. It's so great. Uh, everybody wears these types of shirts. Like I wore a different shirt yesterday, and I was like, oh, not the uniform. I better get something with stripes and buttons. And, and faux uh, sweat. Yeah, and faux sweat. I want to make sure that people think I'm uncomfortable. I'm <laughs> a sweating uh, face off. How did you find yourself on Raising Hope? Um, well, uh, I was in Chicago, broke, uh, doing storefront theater for nothing. Um, and I, I just, there was a national casting call, and I went on tape. And, you know, they made the biggest mistake of their lives. Oh, that's debatable. <laughs> um, Some mistakes, some would say brilliance. Okay, what, which would you say? TBD. <laughs> uh, to be determined. No, I went on tape. Uh, I was, I was, you know. Um, Wasn't was it long? Poor. Like a long? It was like three months. Three months of waiting before I got the official say so. So then you submitted that, and he, they were feeling you, but you then had to go okay, through a formal process. You look excited process. about this. <laughs> no, um, I'm not. It was like, I guess you read something. <laughs> no. Right? Whatever. Nobody cares. I'm trying to take off. Um, where's Boy Meets World? Is Ryder here? Let's get Ryder. That's not even true. I'm trying to stay calm, so you stay calm and still, because you've stayed so still for so long. I know, you reminded me. So mm -hmm. then you got the call that you had gotten the yeah. part, and were you stoked? No. Yes. Yes. You the answer is it. yes. Okay. I was stoked. I think it might, yes, yes might be a good yes, answer. Would, yes. What's one of your favorite parts about being on Raising Hope? The best. What? The money. Definitely the money. The people? I love the money. The yeah, God, money is awesome. Okay. Um, I also love just the art. Mm -hmm. Like, I really love the art. I like I like the people I work with a lot. Mm -hmm. I think they're really uh, human. Mm -hmm. Define <laughs> human. <laughs> I think they're like, uh, they're incredibly, for all of us playing um, idiots, they're incredibly erudite, sophisticated, gentlemen, compassionate souls. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs>